Hey there, Aquarius. This is your May 2020 love reading. Remember, not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone. So take what does and what doesn't. Please just throw it out. All right. So this is making me chuckle a little bit. Oh, Aquarius. You got somebody in May that you're really into. You feel as if they're they're beautiful. They're amazing. They're wife or husband material with this imprints card. I feel like they have everything that you've been looking for. And that's freaking awesome. You also have the nine of cups here. So for some of you, you may feel like there's a wish that's been granted. But this card basically tells me with this love reading is that you're in a place where you're good with them or without them. You know, you're good with them or without good with them or without them. However, you are very much into them this May. Very much into them. We have how they're feeling on this side right here. And this is interesting. They, they feel like with the Four of Wands, they're really happy with you too, which is awesome. I like to see this in love readings. The Four of Wands, they're really happy, but they're trying to take their time with this Knight of Pentacles right here. Um... They're the type of person that will take it slow. Um, they evaluate one step at a time. They're going to take it really slow with you when it comes to love. And um, they also have this, because I read with music too, so I made my own music cards. They have the Coldplay warning sign. So I feel like they may be, because I put too busy looking to find something wrong. I feel as if, they're, they're the type of person that's really, you know, being very cautious and they're trying to make sure that they, they're looking at all the red flags before they jump totally in with you. I feel like they're, they're that type of person. Um, this also says missed opportunity with someone great. I don't, I don't feel like this person is trying to miss an opportunity with you, but there is a potential there if they keep, if they keep, you know, trying to find something it might drive you a little crazy but i'm not i'm not really seeing that in this reading i'm really not seeing that in this reading i'm just seeing that you know they're really they're really cautious this person is really cautious when it comes to you right now probably because of their history or and there's nothing wrong with that that's not a bad thing i see that your obstacle right here is the two of pinnacles so that's basically you know, you guys finding balance, finding time for each other, really trying to find find balance with your work life and your relationship and whatever's going on. Um, there's going to be, you know, some challenges when it comes to balance, but you guys will make it from all the cards that I saw earlier. And this made me laugh because you have Marvin Gaye's sexual healing. So <laughs> I'm Spirit is saying, you know, it's time for you guys to, it's time, you're feeling like it's time for you to um, get it on. Like you're needing some sexual healing or whatever. That's basically how you're feeling right now when it comes to this person. Like you're like, come on. <laughs> I like it that this card comes out. So there's going to be a little, uh, you're needing some sex. You're definitely needing some sex. That's funny. <laughs> We also have golden mirror right here. So it tells me that someone can be a little bit of a narcissist. That could be you or this person. There's some narcissistic um, tendencies. So you want to look out for that. We also have keys on a ring, many options, decisions, um, string along, one night stand. So I feel like there's going to be some hooking up with this person um, <laughs> in May. We have key with a heart, welcoming, love, meeting the one. So I feel as if you're going to be feeling as if you've met the one with this person, which is awesome. That's a beautiful stage in a relationship. And we have palm tree, security, stability, growth. So I definitely feel as if you guys are going to be blossoming and growing over the next few months with this person. There's going to be some hookups and some, you know, butterflies, some really good good feelings going on we also have hesitation and we have romance so i feel like somebody in this relationship is going to be a little bit hesitant it could be you too i honestly feel as if maybe both of you are a little hesitant because you have this energy of yeah they're 
they seem like they're everything I want, but I'm also good by myself, which is beautiful. So there's going to be some hesitation. But Spirit came through with this Fall card and potential. So a lot of you guys are going to be reaching your uh, potential in this relationship in May. I mean, not in May. Why am I saying May? Well, because this is a May love reading. But no, um, in fall, like, the answers that you're looking for is actually going to be coming in this fall. I feel like this relationship is definitely going to be reaching its uh, potential in fall, which is awesome. Ah, I'm excited for you, Aquarius. I'm excited for you. And then our closing message we have for today is soulmate. Ah, okay, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So eh, that is just a beautiful message right now. Your, your soulmate is with you. They're ready for you. You know, take your time. You know, get that sexual healing that you need. <laughs> and it's going to be great. I'm excited for you, Aquarius. So if you like this reading, please hit the subscribe button. It helps my channel a lot. It helps me keep doing what I'm doing. And hit the like button if you liked it. All right. Till next time. I'll talk to you later. Bye.